Hey guys, it's Jerry Shrek from VarietyTrainer.com. Today I'm sitting in uh, my internal office at uh, Bucknell University where I work, and this is where interns are. A lot of times I throw a lot of stuff in, so don't, don't mind the mess. I got programs laying all over the place. But uh, I'm gonna I'm coming to you today because I want to sit down. I want to answer a couple questions that were emailed in off of the deceleration training to prevent ACL tears uh, DVD and manual that we released uh, with Jet Johnson and I. Uh, if you didn't get it, or you didn't look into it. It's it's a great DVD and manual combo. Uh, you can get digital as well if you don't want the physical product. I definitely would recommend taking a look at it, not just because I did it, but because of the information in, the, in there, um, it, it's really great information and I believe that every trainer and every strength coach, every coach should, should really review the information and be able to use it in practical purposes. But let's go over, I got a couple questions, I want to go down through some of these questions because if one person has a question, maybe some others have that same question as well. So this first question is coming from uh, Matt. Um, uh, hello, one question I had about deceleration training. I'm a physiotherapist and uh, and coach strength training for young tennis players in Sweden. I wonder when to use the phase two in the training. Is it always before strength training or can I use it as part of a warm up before the tennis training? The players always run before the tennis training and then do a stick warm up and then footwork out on the ladder. Okay, okay, Matt, what you're really asking is, is about phase two of the program, and that's where we're really starting to learn our, uh, our uh, three positions for deceleration, stopping positions, and then getting into the five-by-five five drills. What I would recommend to, for you to do is I would do that before practice. Um, do your warm-up, and as soon as your warm-up is done, you can get right into those five-by-five five drills, uh, it makes a great transition right in the practice. It doesn't take a lot of time to do, and it doesn't. It, you already are out there on the tennis court, so wherever you're practicing, so you have the the area and space you need to do the drill. So I would recommend doing it just before practice. Um, doesn't like I said, doesn't take a lot of time, and it works perfect. You're trying to do that in the weight room. Space may become a little bit of an issue. Now, if you're doing phase one, the box hop deceleration stuff, that I would do in the weight room before or with during your uh, weight training session. So I hope that answers your question. I would definitely do that before practice and once you're thoroughly warmed up and ready to go because you want to do that at 110%. So thanks, Matt, for the question. Hopefully that answers your question. Uh, the next question is by uh, Jesus. Um, uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Uh, hey, I wanted to email a question in case I don't make it to the call. We did have a call that we did for uh, for people uh, who bought the product before the sale was over and uh, no, he didn't make the call because we didn't answer his question. So let's go. Okay, this is this is Hazard's question. Let's say you do a hockey stop left and want to perform an offensive takeoff right. How do, how do you feel about rotating on the right heel and left toe driving into triple extension with the left with the left while falling into the right. That way you don't twist yourself up. Just a thought, I look forward to your feedback. Okay, Jesus, this is a, whew, there's a tongue twister here on this question, so let's dive into it a little closer. You're talking about going into a hockey stop left, and then you want to perform an offensive takeoff right. Um, and your question here says, how do you feel about rotating on the right heel and left toe, driving in the triple extension with the left falling into the right? That way you don't twist yourself up. Okay, okay, hey, I believe this is, this actually, if I'm reading your question correctly, this is predominantly the position you're going to want to go into anyways. Um, you will triple extend, um through the left leg, as you're because you're going to go to the right, but you're going to step through the left leg and then step over, and you're going to be pivoting on the uh, the right heel to the left toe. Yeah, uh, Jesus, I think you actually just, if I'm reading your question the way it's written, um, yes, that is correct, uh, and I do feel that that would be fine to do. Uh, it's pretty much the way we teach it in the DVD. Um, like I said, I think I'm reading this correctly. Uh, review the DVD or the manual a little bit more, 
But yeah, you will triple extend through the left leg as you're going to an, for an offensive takeoff right. You'll be extending as you take the step across, and then you, boom, you're going back in the triple extension with the right leg, driving through the heel to the toes as you're pushing them off the ground to accelerate in the, I'm assuming here we want to go back to the uh, opposite direction here if you're doing an offensive takeoff right from hockey stop left. So, yeah, Jesus, that's a great question, and, uh, yeah, I believe you are correct on that. Um, it's the way we describe it a lot in the uh, – I think you're just looking for clarification on the stepping across and, and doing the triple extension before you step, which is accurate. That is what you want to do. So hopefully that answers your question, Jesus. And, uh, Matt, thanks for the questions. Guys, if you think that this was beneficial, I have no problems. I, I continue to do some video posts like this and answer your questions for you. Um, we're here to help. Uh, Jed and I, we put a lot of effort into this program, and we're here to help you in any way we can. So if you have any questions, keep them coming, guys, and we will answer them uh, as we get them. Thanks a lot. This is Jerry Shrek from VarietyTrainer.com.